White supremacy propaganda has been prevalent in our area. Flyers and stickers marking parts of the five boroughs. And the Anti-Defamation League says although there has been a 45% decrease from the numbers last year, the numbers in their newly released report are concerning. News 12's Asia McKenzie has more with a breakdown of the numbers. Hate groups have been very active in 2021. The Anti-Defamation League in its new report says white supremacy propaganda remains at historic levels close to home. That's the situation with white supremacist propaganda. They've become much more brazen, much more bold uh, in the way that they uh, make themselves visible and in the way that they recruit. Thursday's report from the ADL shows a total of 4,851 cases of racist and anti-Semitic messaging across the United States. New York City saw the highest number of white supremacist propaganda incidents with 37 of them. That's accounting for 17 percent of the total in the state, although a decrease from 2020 still significantly higher from five years ago. We look at 2017 when we started this. In New York and New Jersey, we saw a few dozen cases. Today, the, the report that we just released shows that that number increased from a few dozen to nearly 400. Patriot Front, New Jersey European Heritage Association, and White Lives Matter, the most visible in our area. Citizens of the city need to understand what those symbols are, regardless of which community you come from. So as soon as you might see a symbol of eight, you need to alert our law enforcement agency. And as the white supremacy propaganda circulates around our city, the ADL says do not share it. But they get much more visibility. So I would recommend to your listeners that if they see this, they report it to ADL. If you see one of those things, you need to say, call them out on it. That's the only way we stop it. And the ADL is continuing their efforts to fight this disturbing trend with things like public webinars, where groups will share information on where and how hate propaganda is being distributed. Aisha McKenzie, News 12.